हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू ऑरोन टीवी आई एम यू विप्रजेश अगैन फ्रॉम सी ए आई महिंद्रा कोयम्बटूर शोरूम टुडे एंड आई एम हियर विद द ब्रांड न्यू महिंद्रा एक्स यू वी थ्री डब्ल्यू टर्बो पेट्रोल टॉक्स बैक डब्ल्यू एट ऑप्शन वेरियंट दिस वीडियो इज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई बुड मो डॉट कॉम द स्पैर पार्ट एक्सपर्ट एनी ब्रांड एनी मॉडल एनी स्पैर पार्ट दे हैव द चीपेस्ट एंड एक्सपेंसिव ऑप्शन ऑल एट वन प्लेस फॉर यू यू कैन चेक आउट दर वेबसाइट एट बुड मो डॉट कॉम और डाउनलोड द बुड मो एप विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर आईओ एस एंड एंड्रॉइड डिवाइसेज एज वेल Budmo also offers return and refund assurance within 10 days of purchase. If you don't like the spare part, you can return it within 10 days without any hassle. Budmo, the spare parts expert and quite literally the one-stop shop for all your automotive spare part needs. I am going to judge how does this BS6 petrol turbocharged XUV 3W perform on Coimbatore roads in the city traffic and on free stretches as well. It is well known for high visibility and the punchy petrol engine. So let's go on for a detailed test drive. Yes folks I am right now inside the brand new Mahindra XUV 3W BS6 petrol top spec W8 optional manual variant well that may sound like a very long name but still this engine is well known to be very very refined and exceptionally smooth while also being extremely powerful this is uh, well the most powerful petrol uh, engine in this segment in this compact SUV segment so let's just start driving now without any further ado i have adjusted the driver seat for my height as you can see these are leather seats and they are very very comfortable uh, however they are white they are sort of white so it they may be kind of hard to maintain but still it's completely all right the steering wheel is adjustable for tilt no telescopic but still i'm just starting the engine now So this here is a 3 cylinder turbocharged 1.2 liter petrol engine but it does not sound anything like a 3 cylinder in fact there is no so no sort of vibrations or noise on the inside it is exceptionally smooth no vibration on the steering wheel nothing on the gear lever there is just that faint bit of pulsing on the pedals but that is of course very very essential for a car to know that the engine is actually turned on raising the handbrake let's just get on to the drive now Of course, I have turned off the aircon to actually judge the NVH properly. And of course, this car also has an electric sunroof, being a W8 optional variant. The initial feel is that this engine is extremely refined. Even if you start revving beyond 2,500 RPM, it is very very smooth. You can barely hear anything over here. It is uh, well. It is clearly evident that this car is built for global quality, and it is built indeed on a global platform. So this is very, very confidence inspiring, very, very comforting as well. Uh, the driving position, of course, it it is definitely not the tallest. Of course, it has a clear view. The windows are very, very large. The visibility is excellent, and you also have this uh, additional sunroof for extra ambience. Uh, but still, the overall height of the driver it could have been better. But yeah, of course, you have the option of uh, adjusting the driver seat on the top spec variant, so that is also quite very very good. Uh, waiting in this traffic signal, signal, I would like to point out another feature on the XUV 3W. Of course, you have the automatic engine start stop. So the engine has turned off now, and uh, just uh, pressing the clutch again will automatically activate the engine. This is uh, very very helpful for extending the mileage of this car, and the claimed mileage of this XUV turbocharged petrol is also pretty impressive. So the signal is about to come right now, and I'd like to turn on the aircon. This, of course, is a dual zone automatic climate control, which is very very helpful on uh, such hot conditions, and it is also very very uh, sort of flexible. If your passenger wants a different temperature, they can also set a di different uh, setting for themselves. uh even though this car does not have rear ac vents even the rear passengers will be very very comfortable thanks to abundance of space and a very good uh, aircon system the gear lever is of course very very slick it is easy to throw uh, of course the travel may be slightly on the longer side but still it is very very enjoyable let's just start pressing now the signal is gone and oh <laughs> well obviously that 200 newton meters of torque is very very evident and the clutch is also fairly light <laughs> this is one car you can properly enjoy driving well i am just saying that within just a few meters of driving 
but still <clears throat> yeah that is going to hold true for the rest of the drive as well nice any gear even on higher gears higher rpms lower rpms whatever the engine responds beautifully even under 1800 rpm this engine has a proper pull that is quite rare to see nowadays especially on these uh, lower capacity turbocharged engines especially petrol ones and uh, yeah i sort of love it the interior is exceptionally well damped i would say that it is probably well it is, it is almost the best insulated cabin in this category and the brakes too are very very confident inspiring of course you get all four disc brakes as standard from the w4 variant itself and this w8 optional variant additionally also has uh, electronic stability program traction control hill hold and in terms of uh, passive safety you also get seven airbags including an airbag for the driver knee as well what else do you need of course this is probably well this is indeed the safest compact hatchback made in india made for india by indians well you can drive this car as you want this engine responds well just as you would like to have and uh, talking about other things well, let me just get to a free stretch before that i would like to uh, talk about other things of course the interior is of great quality the plastics the materials everything is of uh, exceptional quality the fit and finish too is very very good so now we are entering a free stretch i would like to show how this this car performs at higher speeds so getting on to the free stretch on the mahindra xuv 3w turbo petrol well you just notice that i have uh, <laughs> I am driving this car as hard as I can, uh, shifting beyond 3,500 rpm, and even at such speeds, this engine barely sounds anything. It is very, very quiet, very, very smooth. Within no time, I am doing 80. There's a Jeep compass there, and mind you, I am still in fourth gear. I am still in fourth gear. Now fifth. stability is exceptional uh, be it any rpm any speed any sort of road this engine gives you the maximum punch no other car can do this in this category especially driving on the rough grounds of kodishia the suspension of the xuv 3w actually feels pretty firm however the overall damping is very very good and soaks up bumps exceptionally well the suspension also works pretty silently and unless you crash through a large pothole the passengers will barely feel anything and the car feels exceptionally composed however the car feels slightly skittish if you tend to increase the speed on rough roads of course the turning radius may not be the shortest the smallest but the steering is very very feelsome but if not most if not the most direct in terms of feedback but still it provides you proper amount of feel and weight of course you have three multiple modes for the steering itself one is the comfort mode which uh, makes the steering absolutely <laughs> well so light that you can even control using one small finger and the next one is the normal mode where the steering sort of increases the weight it is slightly heavier and the final one is of course the sports mode where you get the maximum weight on the steering wheel so it becomes like a proper hardcore sports vehicle and you get to control the car even more direct than before so reaching 100 now in just fourth gear so you can clearly see right the stability of this car is exceptional the control you get is so very proper and it is even proper fun to drive now let's explore further features of this car well this infotainment system may not be the largest it may not be the most fanciest but it is very very usable and gives you all the essential features you need next comes the dual zone automatic climate control as i already said the the buttons the layout the design may be kind of old and this lcd uh, display may not be 
up to the tastes and standards of today but still the function it does it is extremely good if you set it into auto of course the aircon becomes so chilling so i like to turn that off right now and uh, yeah, you get so high speeds of uh, fan in the system it is very very good and you can remove the sink and you can adjust the passenger side temperature separately and uh, then talking about other things you get uh, push button start from the w8 variant itself you also get a driver knee airbag over here and the steering wheel also includes cruise control and overall talking about the interior quality just have a look at the interior the overall quality is exceptionally good it may not be say up to uh, the next segment kind of standard but still the plastic feel the overall fit and finish the robust feel of the interior it is exceptionally good very very good and uh, even the controls for the driver see the power windows the buttons over here everything feels so solid well built exceptionally good and other features other small but very very significant features include automatic headlamps automatic wipers and auto dimming irvm over here as well this here is the electric sunroof it may not be the largest but still it is one touch and it is good to provide a lot of air on the inside however i would not recommend uh, driving this car with someone or your kids peeping out of the sunroof that is not safe not recommended at all so you know about the sunroof the leather seats are very very comfortable exceptionally good now let's uh, get back to the showroom to judge the overall interior and feel before we conclude this review let's talk about the exterior and interior details of the xuv 300 w8 optional the mahindra xuv 300 is one among the best looking compact suvs in the indian market currently and definitely looks unique with near perfect suv proportions and proper presence this here is the top spec w8 optional variant so you get a whole host of features as well the w8 and the w8 optional variants get led drls along with projector headlamps while also getting halogen fog lamps the front grille and the air dam get plenty of chrome finish maintaining the xuv family look this top spec w8 optional variant also receives front parking sensors which is going to be very useful in tight parking spaces both the w8 and the w8 optional variants get 17 inch alloy wheels however the w8 optional gets these dual tone machine finished unique looking 17 inch alloy wheels all four wheels get disc brakes as standard from the entry level variant itself and all variants also get body color door handles mirrors and body claddings as standard while the rear of the mahindra xuv 300 looks unique the truncated bumper definitely looks odd and ends abruptly unique looking led tail lamps are standard across the range along with four reverse parking sensors the top spec variants alone get this four skid plate silver finish along with the rear windshield wiper washer and defogger you can see that the rear windshield wraps around the c pillar and from the w6 variant itself the xuv 300 also gets full size roof rails an electric sunroof though is available only on this top spec w8 optional variant so that was all about the exterior looks of the xuv 300 w8 optional let's get inside now yes folks this here is the cabin of the w8 optional variant of the mahindra xuv 300 turbo petrol and to begin with of course the quality is exceptional everywhere you touch everywhere you feel the quality is almost top notch well let's start start with the steering wheel of course you get beautiful leather wrapping on this top spec variant so that is also exceptionally good the quality of the buttons everything is very very good including the buttons on the right side of the steering wheel this is where you get the electronic stability program button along with the engine start stop function and the front parking sensors so everywhere you touch everything is good the controls for the driver for the windows and the orvms as well they are exceptionally well built these are in fact kind of uh, the high quality buttons you see on the sangyong rexton or the mahindra alturas as well so the quality remains beautiful the motor itself functions exceptionally smooth and quiet on this car so that is also pretty good uh the steering wheel is adjustable only for tilt though no telescopic adjustment which is quite fine however you get automatic headlamps automatic wipers you get this instrument cluster where you can get to change the colors of the dials as well you also get a digital readout for the speedometer in the mid however the buttons to control the mid is located over here weirdly which is quite fine but still it may be uh, kind of say awkward to get used to first but still it is completely fine you get uh, average fuel efficiency and all the details over here including average speed as well 
the touch screen system over here it is just 7 inch but still it is very very functional you get tire pressure monitoring system you get reverse parking camera and all those things talking about reverse parking camera let me just show you the quality again this uh, reverse parking camera also gets adaptive guidelines and the camera is of course available only on the w8 and w8 optional variants so this is purely functional and you also get uh, parallel parking and perpendicular parking uh, guidelines as well for the reverse parking camera which is quite good well you also get android auto and apple carplay as standard along with ecosense this touchscreen system itself is available from the w6 variant itself however the w6 does not get a reverse parking camera uh, well the overall audio quality may not be the best in class you get four speakers with two tweeters but still the audio quality is just about decent and uh, you also get e-manual just in case you want to uh, quickly brush up on the features available in this car and how to use it you also get inbuilt navigation it is not as uh, say crisp or precise as the google maps but still this is pretty good this is uh, powered by map my india and it is reasonably precise as well which is quite good so that was all about that talking about the dual zone automatic climate control of course as i already said this reminds you of a nokia w100 phone but still the function is very very good it is built very very solid you get a dual zone control for the driver and passenger separately which is quite good and you also get separate seat belt warnings for all four passengers the highlight about the xuv 3w has always been exceptional safety on the top speed variant and you can see that even the middle seat passenger gets a proper three point seat belt and a headrest at least on the top speed variant so that is pretty good attention to safety uh, well you get the hazard button over here and this here is the button for the rear windshield defogger the gear lever it is very very nicely shaped the throws may be kind of long but still the gear lever itself the gear function itself is very very slick and very good to use you get this storage pocket over here where i have placed the key of this car the top spec w8 and w8 optional variants alone get push button start so this is the key for it and you also get an emergency manual flip key integrated into this itself so that is okay you get two cup holders as standard and this center armrest is also available as standard from the entry level w4 variant itself it is felt lined and it is reasonably spacious as well and you get this pass through hole uh, just in case you want to place your phone here while it is being charged so that is quite good the leather seats are of course almost white in terms of shade and color let me just let in some light and the quality is very very good however they are definitely going to be a nightmare to maintain as you can see this being the demo car you, you already have got uh, sort of stains over here which is uh, kind of a thing to remember you get felt lining on this uh, shelf on the dashboard as well the glove box is of a reasonable large size and it also gets illumination which is quite good again the doors for the front have got two bottle holders integrated which is quite very very good attention to storage and the driver seat has got a whole lot of adjustment if you are a very very tall passenger you get the knee airbag just for the driver alone and this here is the position for the knee airbag and this is a proper solid panel you get the airbag marking over here as well coming towards the roof of course you get an auto dimming irvm which is pretty handy and the controls for the sunroof are over here just uh, beside the interior cabin lamps the cabin lamps however are yellow which is quite acceptable this here is a sunglass holder and it is very very soft felt lined the driver side sun visor also gets a vanity mirror along with smart uh, lighting for the vanity mirror itself so that is quite very very nice attention to detail again so that was all about the front part of the cabin on the xuv 3 w8 optional variant let's just quickly take a look at the back seat yes folks i'm now in the back seat of the mahindra xuv 3 w8 optional variant and this is how the dashboard looks like it may not be the most flamboyant in terms of design but still the overall quality is exceptional and the feel you get while driving is very very good now talking about features of course i already explained you that this car gets seven airbags you also get dual zone automatic climate control and you also get an electric sunroof on this w8 optional variant along with other features including esp traction control a touchscreen system and a leather steering wheel leather seats and you also get auto dimming irvm talking about the rear seats of course the safety is the main emphasis on this top spec variant you may not get a whole lot of under thigh support but still the overall space is very very good you can even easily seat uh, six footers behind each other so that is quite very good 
uh, this car obviously does not get rear AC vents but still the automatic climate control may be good enough for the job the emphasis obviously is safety once again so you get three adjustable headrests as standard on this W8 optional variant along with a proper three point seat belt how great is that and you also get ISO fixed style seat mounts as standard from the entry level W4 variant itself a rear center armrest though is available only from the W8 variant which is quite fine again and uh, well you also get uh, proper sized one liter bottle holders the grouse however is that you do not get proper rear uh, say back seat pockets instead you get these bands i'm not sure for what but still you can probably store your files or documents well over here that's it and you get a proper interior cabin lighting over here and you get seven airbags so you get the curtain airbags extended all the way till the c pillar itself so that is quite good focus towards safety and that's it so that was all about the back seats of the mahindra xuv 3w w8 optional variant let's just have a look at the boot space Opening the boot space of the Mahindra XUV 3W W8 optional, of course, the XUV 3W provides the least luggage space in its category, that is despite the luggage floor set for the lowest position. Currently it is in the highest position. Let me just adjust the boot floor now. Well, it may seem like an easy process, but yes, it is easy if you do it using two hands. And there we go. Now this boot is of a 257 litre capacity which is definitely the least in its class and it is definitely smaller than that of the Renault Quid. You have to remove the boot floor in a similar manner to access the 16 inch steel spare wheel and the tools integrated into it. That said the Mahindra XUV 3W is the only compact SUV in its category to provide an almost flat boot floor if you flip fold the rear seats. Of course in order to provide a fully flat floor the boot floor has to be in its highest position. But currently you can see the step with the boot floor in its lowest position. Even on the top spec variants you do not get a parcel shelf. So that was all about the luggage space and capacity of the Mahindra XUV 3W. Let's just conclude this review now. So the Mahindra XUV 3W Turbo Petrol definitely seems like a scorcher in terms of performance while also providing great quality interior, a long list of features on the top spec variants at least, a spacious cabin and macho SUV looks. In fact, it is a proper worthy car to be a smaller sibling of the larger XUV 5W. However, just like the XUV 5W, the luggage space is just about compact hatchback standards and in terms of pricing, it is one among the most expensive compact SUVs in the Indian market today. And all the essential safety features are reserved only for the top most variant. So you can definitely consider the Mahindra XUV 3W Turbo Petrol if performance, space and features are of top priority for you, provided the fact that you drive safely and rarely use the boot. So meanwhile, this is Viprajesh signing off. See you on another video. Thank you for watching.